everybody, this is not a spring chick, and today, okay, the big news today is, today is Grammy Sunday! Oh, yes, it's been a Grammy week all week. I know, and you can see we got a picture of the chair dog with a chair dog's tongue out for Grammy Sunday. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, I want people oh. to see the chair dog. I know, I love that picture, because, you know, it's an action. It's just well, that's a chair dog. She's always got her tongue stuck out. Ah. But, of course, news still continues, even though entertainment, you know, Grammy week, you know what that means is there's a lot of people from the music industry in town. They're all going to music events. Everybody's having a fabulous time. But we're going to bring Ola Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's, besides Grammy week, it's all over for the Republicans. Well, if you listen to it, they're telling you about how this president is welding more power than any president in the history of our nation. Uh, he has the Republicans on the run. Uh, um, then here comes the bad news, folks. It seems like the press is not happy with his massive liberal agenda, which basically, in, here's the trick is, most of the people in the press realize the more liberal the government, the more conservative his policies are in towards the censorship and everything. So you can make, uh, he's starting to reel people in about what they can and cannot do. And he's also getting foreign powers that, are, that he's giving money to, like, um, they basically in rule, they ruled in, in Egypt, their Supreme Court, that that video that he said was responsible for everything was responsible for the riots in, in Egypt now and wanting YouTube banned for a month to teach YouTube a lesson for putting videos like that out there. Coincidence, yeah, okay, I always say, I, like, I actually like Lorenzo Lamas, I've met him, but I say that um, coincidence only happens in bad Lorenzo Lamas movies for the Sci-Fi Channel. And he's made a lot of bad movies for a sci-fi show. He's a really good actor. And, nice Obama, guy. and Obama is on the tack against those that speak up against him. That's why they're very unhappy. That's why he's he's stretching he's stressing the wealthy are not paying their fair share. We have to have government job programs, and these poor people are suffering as the result of of uh, gun laws, which are actually you see. The Democrats can't get the gun law passed through. They had a chance to get it through, and as one of the Democrats said, they over they overreached. They told as they always do because I mean you have to look what they've done in New York. California wants to go even further, but it was suggested by Diane Feinstein about uh, registration of every gun you have in your house, the inability to buy bullets, which I always said was smart, but the background checks. You you cannot have a universal background check for buying the bullets. The stories will not put up with it since the stories won't put up with the state orders it. It means you effectively stop the Second Amendment in the state of California. If you can't buy ammunition for guns, mm -hmm. period, the Second Amendment is of no longer any use. And the CBO adds, no, that's true, it is of no longer any use. Yeah. And the CBO adds trillions more to the cost of Obamacare and no savings results as the costs keep climbing. $2.2 trillion more money than originally. Okay, they couldn't pay the $1.5 trillion that was originally estimated. They have now added $2.2 million, $2.2 uh, $2 trillion. And as of this morning, well, every citizen of the United States is going to have to pay a, a special a fee every year of $63, I think it is, it's to be in the health care program. That was, okay, remember all those people that said it would not increase your premiums one bit? Now, if you weren't paying premiums before, you now have to pay $63 a month extra. Then add that, that times 10, yeah, times 12, it's like a seven, $800. You're now having to pay for health care you didn't pay for before. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. And remember, well, they're going to give gov the government's going to give you an allowance to help pay for your pay, help pay for your insurance. Uh, it doesn't pay for the special fee that they have to add every monthly to, to just to be part of the program. Mm -hmm. And this is going to uh, all these people that weren't paying anything before. He's going to fee you to death now. Ooh. Yep. And no gun found at evacuated Arizona school. There generally are never any guns. What happens is the Democrats know that they can push people's buttons now by saying they see somebody with a gun. Oh, is that what they're doing? Oh, yeah. Okay. It the, um, the, the, was predicted after the first shooting under Obama, you know, in, you know, uh, that, the first round of shooting under Obama, that the, there would be more shooting, there would be as many shootings as necessary to get his gun laws passed, as many as necessary. The problem comes is that every single, I heard one of the persons on Fox News, one of the very left-wing liberals, you know, that it just, she dreads every day when they have a shooting 
And they said, well, not, and they said, not, she, she said, I really care about the people that are shipped, but I also know that at the end of the day, they're going to say that they were supporters of Barack Obama, supporters of gun control, supporters of this, supporters of that. Every single shooting, they're all liberal Democrats. Mm -hmm. Not conservative Republicans, but liberal Democrats. They haven't had a conservative Republican shoot anybody yet. Oh, and Memphis renames three parks that honor the Confederacy. Uh, okay, this is political correctness. They, those people, earned, they, they fought and died for what they thought was right. And because the Obama administration is in control, they are simply kicking, you know, they're going to, my guess is they're going to take down the monument to, uh, to, to, to Jackson in Georgia because it honors the Confederacy. So they're going to take, what is it, Stone Mountain, Georgia, they're going to take it and just blow it off the map because, well, it talks about the Confederate States of America. And I'm assuming that they're going to remove all the, uh, one of the persons said that, well, we need to remove all those placards at Gettysburg honoring those blankety blank, you know, Southerners. Mm. Yeah, that's, that, 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 I don't know, Bobby expected it to happen. And diet or regular choice of alcohol mixer affects intoxication. Yeah, because some of it is, okay, okay, we'll put it this way. Some mixers are more alcoholic than other mixers. And if it has got more sugar in it, it's going to make you hit faster. Uh, you know, and then, um, you know, JC knows, I can sit there and drink all night long as long as I have something to eat with it. Mm -hmm. But people don't, like, I'm going to press it again. My mother was one of those people that founded the legislation. She co-pushed the legislation to force businesses to be liable for alcohol being served to people with no food. It had, it, it didn't have anything to do, she was in a restaurant business and wanted to make people eat. It had to do with the fact that her business Liability. was being sued continually by people that, well, I went out and I fell over this thing in, in the parking lot because I was served one too many drinks. And the liability insurance was getting so high, it was easier to force people to control the content that they were giving to people or to feed them. Mm -hmm. What's so big about, you can go to a Hollywood event where there's no food being served today and only alcohol. And you know what happens when that's going on. Mm -hmm. FBI bombs found, oh, an Alabama hostage bunker. Yeah, I, I find it strange that the person didn't, d did nothing. He just, he takes a kid hostage, does nothing, and then gets killed and does nothing. There's, it, it, I don't find that sensible. I have the, unfortunately, idea that they wanted to have hit him as a white ring conservative, unfortunately he was a left wing liberal, and that he was dead from day one, and they just kept it going mm. in order to make they get the press every day, like this nonsense with this police officer, that's, they're going, they're putting all this manhood out across the snow area, they're not going to find anybody when it's snowing, mm. his tracks all go, and he, he's either dead or he's somewhere else, it's that simple, but it serves the Obama administration's cause to be going after this person. Mm. Only per problem is, unfortunately, he supports the president, he supports the gun control things of the president, and he said these people are trying to destroy our country. Mm. Yep. And second grader suspended over imaginary grenade. Well, Bill O'Reilly said they did the right thing because the school said he was throwing rocks, and I have to believe the school. Um, Bill O'Reilly basically uh, <laughs> It, it would never be a good journalist because Bill O'Reilly interjects his own opinions into other things. You're supposed to be innocent until proven guilty. With O'Reilly, he just automatically assumes, well, we know they're guilty. We know that the kid was probably throwing rocks. Well, he wasn't there. He has no witnesses to the fact he was throwing rocks, but he knows that that's what he was doing because he was told that that is. Uh, mm. they, and it wasn't from a first hand. Okay, the rule is. If you don't have first-hand information, you have to verify it through other sources. And uh, somebody had to have seen it and reported it, and that person has to be talked to. O'Reilly is taking a word from a spokesperson that says he was throwing rocks, which is why he was suspended. Ah, and, and <laughs> police to review L.A. clergy abuse files. Yeah, because they basically, okay, the Catholic Church has been hiding abuse for since long the day time. for a long day of time, so, and it's not Like, that's nothing new? There's nothing new, nothing changes, because they say, well, it's what happens when you don't let the clergy marry. That, okay, the trick is, most of the guys tend to be gay that are members of the Catholic Church. Which is why they didn't get married. Yeah, and uh, and basically, they, can't, they, can't, they, uh, they don't believe in gay rights in the Catholic Church. 
So they want the gay, they want the Catholic Church to allow gay, gay sex and stuff, and that's never going to happen. So. Mm -hmm. And a Monty bubbleism for the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Oh, okay, here's a good one. But uh, you know, d d just because you think you have the time doesn't mean you have the time, because time is always the worst thing that you have to deal with. <laughs>